Hello, hello, I'm Christy Cachillo with the Global Keto Connection. And in a few minutes, I will have Katherine Johnson on with me. We are coming to you live to make keto snickerdoodle crepes. And I'm gonna bring Katherine on. Super easy recipe. It's just eggs. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I was just saying what we were making, the snickerdoodle crepes. Yes. You know, oh, the recipe that we are making is by I breathe. I'm hungry. That's me. <laughs> I have pinned the recipe to the top. So if anybody wants it, it is already there. And I'm going to go ahead and read off uh, the ingredients first for everybody. So for the crates. It is, uh, and this is for four servings. So for the crepes, it is six eggs, five ounces of cream cheese softened, one teaspoon cinnamon, one tablespoon of granulated sweetener, and then some butter to fry up your crepe. And then for the filling, it's going to be eight tablespoons of butter, a third cup granulated sweetener, and one tablespoon or more depends on what you like mm -hmm. or, um, of the cinnamon hi sally welcome hey sally okay, sally's so at her house today not mine <laughs> <laughs> so each serving is two crepes the uh total ingredients make eight crepes so you have four servings. So for two crepes, it's going to be 434 calories, 42 grams of fat, two net carbs, and 12 grams of protein. Okay. And so I am the only one eating here. And I mean, this would be a good meal prep idea. You could make four days worth if you want to make all eight and save them for the rest of the week. Um, but for me, I'm not. So I'm just going to make half of the recipe where, Catherine, you're making the whole recipe. I'm making the whole thing. Okay. Hi, Rach. Okay. So here we go. Keto snickerdoodle crepes. All righty. Okay. The first thing we are going to do is uh, crack our eggs. And we're going to make the, we're going to make the crepe. Um, batter so you're going to crack your eggs and you know what you guys want to see what i'm doing not who i am so yes. here we go. same Just with me it. here we go and i'm going to mix mine in the nutribullet So what's the weather like in Switzerland today? Oh my gosh. So today, in fact, right now, and it's 5 p.m., it's 86 degrees. Really? It's the warmest it's been all day, but it's partly cloudy, so not so bad. However, it is muggy, mm. so not so good. <laughs> but it's okay. It's not bad. I mean, considering we don't have uh, air conditioning. Right. Not bad. Okay, so I've cracked uh, my eggs. How are you doing on your eggs? I got one more. We woke up to 58 degrees this morning. Nice. Right? It's a little chilly. Alrighty, I got my six eggs in there. Okay, so next is your cream cheese. So you're doing five ounces of cream cheese, and I'm doing half of that, so I have two and a half ounces of cream cheese. And I weighed mine. Um, it's just better to weigh it instead of trying to guess. Don't you think? Yes, I did the same on my kitchen scale. And I got to tell you guys, kitchen scale is everything. Yep. Love it, mine. It's amazing the difference in weight loss that you'll be able to push through by knowing exactly what you're putting in your mouth. Exactly. Okay, so let me know when you're ready to move on. I'm ready to roll on. Okay, so the next ingredient you'll be adding is a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Oh, I hate that. 
when and, it doesn't fit in there. Oh, I know. <laughs> and a tablespoon of your sweetener. Um, so I have my sweetener and my cinnamon ready to go. Pour that in there. And then we are going to blend up our batter. And it's going to get loud. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining. All right, let's go. Scraping down the sides. Okay, so according to the directions, we blend the crepe ingredients together uh, until it is smooth, and then let your batter rest for a couple of minutes. Mine's a little lumpy. It's you what? Have that problem? Mine's a little lumpy. How's yours? No, mine is smooth. I might turn mine on one more second. Sorry, guys. No worries. I'm going to bring everybody over to the stove. We are making Hello. snickerdoodle crepes, which we've pinned the recipe at the top. Okay, so now while our um, batter is resting for a minute, we're going to heat up the pan and melt some butter in the pan that we are going to fry in. How much are you putting in? Going on a medium heat. Um, I think I'm going to put in probably a tablespoon. Okay. So my batter that I made is half the amount, and therefore I'm going to get four crepes, hopefully. And so when we pour the batter into the pan, uh, we are going to form a six inch crepe cooking for about two minutes and then flipping and cooking for an additional minute. I'm switching pans because I think I have an eight inch pan. Mine's really big but this one is really good for um, not letting things stick so I'll just try to control my pour. All right, I'm just gonna um, go a little smaller. And you said you were doing medium heat? Yes, the heat okay. that we are doing is medium heat, yes. Awesome, okay. While that's resting, should we go ahead and make the filling? Yes, good idea. Good idea. Okay. 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 So for the filling, the full recipe calls for eight tablespoons of butter softened, one third cup granulated sweetener, and a tablespoon of cinnamon. So I have my, I'm doing half of the amount, so I've got my four tablespoons of butter softened and sweetener and sugar and my sweetener and cinnamon.
So we're only going to stir half of the mixture that we made into the softened butter until smooth because we are then going to use the other half to sprinkle on top after we um, roll up our crepes. Okay, well, I didn't follow directions. <laughs> this is why you are the baker. I'll just make some more cinnamon and sugar. My butter is soft, but it sure isn't mixing very well. Are you just using a fork? Um, I'm using a spoon. I'm just stirring it up, mostly with the back of the spoon. Yeah. This is going to be a very nice uh, cinnamon spread. Yeah, the spoon works better. Very nice cinnamon spread on the crepes. Yeah. Has anybody made these um, crepes? These snickerdoodle crepes? I was watching. I've made them. Now, the one that I did was a little bit different. It didn't use butter in the filling. It used more cream cheese. You know, I remember doing the same. So, and I thought I followed this same um, site for the recipe. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my first amount of batter. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to use a quarter cup measure and see if I can't control my crepe size better that way. So yeah, anybody that's watching you, I mean, and once you make a keto crepe, you can honestly make uh, any type of filling uh, that is keto approved. So you can do a cream cheese cinnamon filling or you can mix um, like berries, like raspberry cream yeah. cheese together, make that a filling. You can do strawberries and sugar-free melted chocolate that you drizzle over inside of your crepes. So there's a lot of possibilities to have a delicious keto crepe and stay on plan. Hi, Paula. Good morning. Welcome. Hi. I was thinking peanut butter snickerdoodle would be even really good. Oh, yes. Right? That would be delicious. Any reason to eat peanut butter? Good in my book. You guys want to make sure it's cooked enough uh, so you can flip it. Yours is prettier than mine. <laughs> but that doesn't surprise me. I'm just hoping I can uh, flip it without a disaster considering what I did to the egg noodles <laughs> on that live. Oh, well, you know. We're not professionals, and we don't do this, but one take. <laughs> so sometimes you have a sacrificial first pancake, and basically that's what this is. So, Or am I just the only one that has a sacrificial first pancake that turns out awful? <laughs> <laughs> the first one never looks like the rest. Right? I don't understand that. What's up with that? <laughs> I just have always called it the sacrificial pancake. I think that's better. You can see this better now, can't you? Without the glare. Much yes, better. it's uh, sometimes yeah. it's hard um, yeah. with the glare. Yeah, I'm going to turn my stove light off. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better. 
I think mine's ready to flip. Okay, give it a whirl. Mine still seems a little, a little on the soft side, but I could attempt. Hey, mine flipped. It's not round, but it flipped. right you guys can see that it doesn't uh it doesn't look like a pancake per se mm -hmm. it's more creepy mine's kind of fluffy it kind of puffed up in the middle like a sopa pia If anybody decides to uh, try this and make this, definitely put a picture of what you made on the page. We love to see when uh, you guys cook. Yes, we do. We I love to see it. you. Yeah. Over the years that we've been doing this, we've made a lot of recipes and sometimes we forget about them. And um, just like Jennifer posted in that picture of the skillet pizza, jarred my yes. memory. So it helps other people to see things and get ideas. Well, mine's done. Mine's still up. Let's move on to the next. Turn my heat down just a little bit too. I did as well. There's my first one. I'm sprinkling a sprinkling a little bit of my cinnamon sweetener oh, there you inside go. before I put my. Um, Great idea. Filling. You guys like crepes? Give us some hearts. Let's see how many people like crepes out there. Um, if you guys are catching us live, Definitely give us a one in the comments. Let us know that you're watching live. And for anybody that watches the replay later, uh, drop a two in the comments. Want to know how many people actually see our lives. And it gives us a good indication. Yes. Invite your friends, your family. It'll make them hungry. Feel free to share out the video for anybody that's um, trying to eat healthy or do the keto li life, and um, maybe this will help them with ideas. I know a lot of people that start keto, the worst part is they feel like they don't really have a lot of options, or, um, you know, they think that they're eating the same three or four foods, and it's just not the case. You can turn those three or four foods into 20 different recipes and Absolutely. feel that you're always eating something different. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Are you going to fill your crepe? I'm going to wait till it, it cools, I think. Okay. I think my second one's done too. You just keep going because you have more to make than I do. Or are you just making four to begin with? Yeah, I'm going to save the last last few till later and cook those so they'll be fresh for later. Unless we're hungry and we decide to go ahead and eat them, then I'll make more later. <laughs> Very possible. <laughs> 
It happens. Yeah, this pan was a better choice. I need to find a ceramic pan that's smaller. So mine come out more round like yours are. Or I should just buy a crepe pan, right? Yeah, you could do that as well. I'm surprised I haven't bought one yet considering where right. you are. <laughs> I had the most amazing crepes when we were over there in December. Of course, they were not keto approved. They were made with real flour, but I um, I just had a couple of bites of roots. I didn't have a whole one to myself. When in Paris, you must taste. I'm having a flipping issue with number two here. I'm not sure why. This one looks like a cheetah or something spotted. Look at that thing. <laughs> Paula might make these later. Awesome. Oh, you better, Paula. You Hi, be Mom. Welcome. Out. Mama's watching, too. Hey, Mama. I think my mom joined the YouTube channel so she could watch them. Oh, excellent. You guys don't forget to join the YouTube channel yourself. Yeah, that's how, that's how you'll find all the videos a lot faster and in one place. I'm filling mine. They're like room temperature now. Yeah, I'm ready for cooler temperatures for sure. It hasn't even been horribly hot, but I love fall. As we're making crepes, what would you fill yours with? You could make a sweet crepe. You can make a savory crepe. Oh, that's a good idea. I love that. Ham and cheese crepe. We went to Greece. Robert loved the ham and cheese crepes. That sounds wonderful. At that time, I was not keto. <laughs> And therefore, I was eating banana, berries, chocolate. Mm. They even put crushed Oreos in them. Oh, my gosh. That's your favorite cookie. <laughs> that was my favorite cookie. Don't you feel like the food markets are missing out on not making good decent keto products that they're putting out crap stuff and trying to fool people. 
Yes, because there are so many people trying to be healthy and doing keto now that yeah. if there were more options, people would be eating out more. Yeah. It's just not even that hard. It really isn't. All righty. I have four done. I just have to let that last one cool before I fill it. They're not the prettiest, but it's all about taste. Yours look nice. Yours are definitely more uniform than mine. <laughs> I literally like tore a chunk off the end, so <laughs> oh, I don't well. know about that. But hey, it's all gonna go down the same. It's all gonna taste delicious, right? I say the same thing. Write it about that, and I actually I now to just need to do my last one. I use my fingers. They're the best utensils you have in the kitchen, don't you think? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, especially when you're just cooking for yourself mainly. Right. So you guys, if you do want your filling to feel like more of a filling, definitely make sure to wait till they are really cool so that your filling, which is just butter, cinnamon, and sweetener, doesn't melt. Right. Um, I did wait a couple of minutes for the first one, so it is more of a filling, where the second one, I kind of put it on too early, and now I have this yummy, melted, ooey-gooey cinnamon filling. Hey, it's whatever, right? So again, for anybody that didn't catch this, um, this recipe, the full recipe makes eight crepes. For the crepes, you're gonna blend together six eggs, five ounces of cream cheese, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of granulated sweetener, and then just uh, normal butter for frying it. And then for the filling, you're gonna stir uh, eight tablespoons of butter, a third cup of granulated sweetener, and a tablespoon or more, depending on how cinnamony you like your cinnamon topping. Yeah. And I'll read off the macros for everybody once again. So the serving size is two of the crepes. And with that, it's 434 calories, 42 mm -hmm. grams of fat, two net carbs, and... 12 grams of protein. I have a hint for some people too. Okay. Um, I, I guess I have to show that. I can show my face. Um, I do a lot of my shopping at Aldi and Aldi is great for a lot of stuff, but you really have to watch the ingredients and check your labels. Um, Aldi's cream cheese is good, but it has two carbs per ounce and Philadelphia cream cheese only has one so that is something that I don't take a chance on I go for the lower carbs just because I know I'm probably going to eat all four of these it's only 10 30 and Kelsey won't be here till 11 um, so I'm probably going to eat all four of them so, oh well <laughs> I'll make more batter for Rick later <laughs> It'll work. She'll probably eat the other four anyways. 
And I've got like six little people looking at me that probably would like a bite as well. I'm sure they would love them. No, mm -mm. you've already been in there. No, sit down. No. Sit down. Okay, so let me bring you back. We will do the reveal. Mm -hmm. My camera is. <laughs> Are you going to take a picture or should I? I? Sally, take a picture. Sally, take a picture. Okay, I'm going to hope she took it. That's yeah. our reveal. These are our Snicker Doodle crepes. They are delicious. Give them a try. Let you know what we think. Uh, Sally's uh, idea for some crepes is with a pumpkin cream. Ooh. So that would be delicious. Sally. But again, guys, yeah. uh, you'll find this later on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you subscribe. Also, if you think anybody would like this recipe, uh, feel free to share it out. Yes. And thank you very much for tuning in. We have to take a bite together, girl. We have to take a bite together. Yes, we do. Okay. Here we go. Lights on camera. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Delicious. All right, you guys, you have a great day. And we will uh, see you next. Our lives, my live is Saturday. Catherine's live is Sunday. Our live together is Tuesday. Thursday, we're cooking up pizza in the kitchen. Come join yeah. us. Eat breakfast pizza or whatever pizza you want. Sure. You bring your toppings and uh, we cook together. We have fun together. We laugh together. We share together. So we hope to see some of you in there. Meet some new faces. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, All Sally right, says okay. hold it back up. <laughs> oh, okay. My face is huge compared to yours. Did she take it? I hope so. <laughs> All right, you guys. We'll see you. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.